good morning all good morning student today we will see passing entire structure variable to a function so previously we have seen what is mean by structure how to declare structure how to declare structure variable area of structure variable what is structure structure so what is structure structure is a user defined data type which store non homogeneous data elements together in a single entity so today we will see how to pass entire structure variable to a function actually that part is also divided into two that is structure members we have pass separately to the function as well as entire structure variable we have to pass to the function so let's start with taking one problem statement so problem statement define a structure department having elements department name department establishment year and number of students then declare and initialize the structure at run time for five different departments after declare and initialization display the information of all departments by passing entire structure to a function means here not only one structure element but whole array of structure we have to pass to the function suppose function name is display also find total number of students in all departments in that function that means we have to design one function having prototype function with argument but does not having any return type so design that function display and pass entire structure so here we have to pass entire array of structure array of structure element so before passing array we have to pass one information of the one single department and then display it into the display function okay so let's start and then second time the program we have to modify for the five departments so let's start open dev c++ id then click on file new source file okay then save this file save as one entire structure give the name and save it so what we have to do first first include stdio.h next thing what is the next thing define structure so use keyword struct which structure department so dpt is the name of the structure so here struct department is what actually struct department is the name of the user defined data type so now what are the members what are the members or fields of structure department so first field is character array name that means name of the department after name of the department what what is the second element or data member of the structure department that is integer establishment year so second element is establishment year after establishment year third element or data member of the structure is a number of student in that department particular department so this is all about structure data members and this is structure data type name next give semicolon okay after that what actually we have to take information for only single department and pass that structure variable entirely in a function so first create one structure element structure variable suppose so how to create globally or you can create inside the main function so int okay so int main after that create struct dpt and name of the department suppose variable structure variable here d is nothing but the structure variable name establishment year 
number of students these are called as structure what structure data members okay and d what is d d is called as structure variable structure variable so d is a structure variable and these three are structure data members so here actually we have create a structure variable d here also that it becomes global that is scope of d is global if we create the department struct department d variable structure variable inside the main function so it becomes d becomes local structure variable okay so first what we have to do first we have to initialize the data member for the single department d only only single department so let's write the code printf enter name of department slash n after that scanf double quotes percentage s comma where we want to store d dot d dot where in the name so d dot name here while scanning no need to write ampersand because it is a string and string when we scan the string using scanf function no need to write ampersand next okay so that is okay next what is next thing take the value from user what we want to take establishment here so enter establishment here slash in after entering scanf take the value from the user using scanf percentage d because it is a decimal integer type establishment year data member is integer so percentage d comma where we want to save ampersand of d dot what establishment year so after that third data member what is the third data member number of student printf enter number of students slash n after entering scanf what percentage d comma where we want to save ampersand of d dot what number of student so after this that means we want to take the values for name of the department establishment year and number of students from the user in which function main function after that what we have to do we have to pass that d okay so what is d graphically this is actually d or array of okay i will show you what is d actually here d dot name d dot name of zero this is first memory management on the d dot then name of one okay dot 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 till d dot d dot name of nine because size of the name is 10 element then d dot what establishment establishment underscore year next d dot number of student so this is the memory management for d which variable structure variable d this is the memory management okay after that this is the memory management on the ram after that what we have to pass this entire this is called as this total total is called this total variable name is what we called as it is called as this is called as d that is structure variable okay and this structure variable d having this different different data members now we want to pass this d total entirely to a function so design one function what is the prototype so first 
design prototype so name of the function is what display what is the return type void because it does not return anything in display function what we have to pass one structure type of data member struct dpt department and d okay so we have to pass this is called as what function prototype this is called as function prototype now call the function how we can call it using name of the function what is the name of the function display what is the name of the function display and what we have to pass d only d okay you have to write same d because it is variable name d and this is d these both these are different which is in the scope one is one in the scope of display function and one in the scope of main function display d so this is called as what function call this is called function call after function call what we have to do return zero okay so this is all about function call now write the function definition in function definition what we have to write this is same okay means this line is same void display struct department d after that okay so what we want to do in display function in display function we want to display all these information that is name establishment year and number of student that is our first name so display it inside the display function so how to display it directly use printf okay so what we have to do name name of the department is equal to what percentage s then what establishment year establishment year is in the percentage d then what number of students is equal to or colon percentage d clear then use slash in okay so from where we want to take the information name d dot what name d dot presenter d dot name what second d dot what is the second establishment year comma then d dot what number of students okay after that give semicolon okay so print this inside the display function that is the our aim so let's check whether it gives you any syntactical error oh yes it gives you syntactical error what is the error struct department has no member name number of student okay so check it oh no it is not number of student it is num underscore stood so dot num underscore stood okay save it num underscore stood this is established not the okay after that num underscore students that is the name of the structure data member or structure field compile oh yes if there is no any warning no error now run it okay so enter the name of the department so name of the department is suppose mechanical establishment year 1982 as per rit is concerned after that enter number of student in mechanical one year in one year 120 students so total suppose 500 students are there in that department and presenters so name mechanical establishment year 1 1982 number of student 500 oh so yes okay it gives you correct result so but what is our aim we want we does not pass only single what is our aim so problem what is the problem statement do and initialize the structure at runtime for five departments so we have currently what we have to do for only single department now we want to initialize it for five departments and pass that five departments information to the structure that means actually we have to pass array of structure to a function clear so let's see 
how to pass it for five okay for uh, for our per, uh, sake of convenience we have to pass only three departments information so where we want to first struct department d okay so how many uh, department d of three three different departments information after that enter the name of the department now what we have to change here s percentage s d of i okay so what i gives you so i is a integer variable so declared i integer i okay so d of zero dot name that is first department name then d of i initially it is okay next and ampersand of d of d of i that is i indicates index of that array of structure variable this is not a structure variable but it is a array of structure variable now so three different department information so okay so these three statements we want to put into any loop so for sake of convenience we use for loop because it is very easy for handling i is equal to 0 i less than equal to 2 0 to 2 means how many times it is executed three diff three times and i plus plus after that give curly brackets so cut this code and put it into this for loop means what happens this code is running three times so how many times this loop is executed three different times and we have to take three different departments information now we want to pass entire structure array to a function so how to pass okay it's easy just write d because d itself gives you base address of that array of structure variable so just write d or or another way what is the another way address of d of zero okay either you have to pass like this address of d of zero or what or or just we have to pass d it's okay okay so what is the change in the prototype structure okay let's see what is the change in the definition we want to print it so write struct department d of array don't give any size here okay similarly we want to give here because prototype is same okay otherwise it gives you syntactical error so this is the information to print okay but now how many times we want to print this for i is equal to 0 i less than equal to 2 that means three different departments and i plus plus okay good so for loop containing only one statement so no need to write parenthesis also understood no need to write curly bracket okay curly brackets no need to write but one thing what we have to declare int i otherwise it gives you syntactical error okay next so let's check whether it works or not clear compile it oh yes it gives you number of errors what is the errors yes now d dot name d dot establishment here it is not working because we have to pass entire structure array of structure variable so as per that we have to make the changes what is the changes d of i okay next what is d of i and last one is d of i that is d of i dot name d of i dot establishment here and d dot i dot number of students okay so let's check whether it gives you any error no it gives does not gives you any error let's start running it okay so enter name of department so first department is csc enter establishment year 19 suppose 88 then number of student 200 and 100 name of the department suppose it establishment year 2000 then number of student in that department is also 
same 210 enter name of the department mechanical mechanical department establishment year 1982 suppose and number of student 500 okay so we can take the values from user in main function for three different departments now enter it so what it gives you name csc establishment year 1988 number of student 200 okay so this information we print in the display function that means we have to pass this entire array of structure to a function display and inside the display function we can display the number of student name establishment year and number of students okay so this is all about how to pass structure to a function either you have to pass single structure variable or array of structure variable okay but what is the problem statement also display okay also find total number of students in all departments in display function so in display function one thing we write the code one that is we want to calculate total number of students in all departments so how to calculate the total number of students so it is sum or total take one variable total is equal to total plus plus what d of i dot d of i dot number of okay but name of the that is variable name is num stood number of student okay but how many times this we want to run execute three times so three different types means again for loop i is equal to zero then i less than equal to two i plus plus okay so if one statement in any loop then no need to write curly brackets so for loop contains only this what is total total is equal to but we have to initialize the total how total but initialize to zero it is must because otherwise it gives you garbage values here so okay let's after that using this what happens we have to calculate d of zero dot num student d of one dot num student and d of one two dot num student and total is saved into total variable now print it okay so printf total number of students is equal to percentage d and where that stored in total variable okay so total number of students is equal to percentage d comma total so this total is displayed here okay but what we want okay so before that we can give slash in here hmm. save it compile okay it does not give any error send run it okay so let's check enter name of the department suppose mechanical establishment year 1982 number of student 500 then csc okay enter establishment year 2000 and number of students suppose 500 again and then establishment year for it department establishment year 1999 and number of student also 500 so total three departments information so this is correct and total number of students are 1500 so it gives you correct results so that all about the problem statement so this in this what we have to do first declare summarize our lecture first what we have to do structure department that is creating struct department having data members name establishment year and number of student then define display function okay then in main function what we have to do declared array of structure variable for three different departments then take the information from the user for three different different department but how, how d of i dot name address of d of i dot establishment year that means dot operator is used to access data members of structure using structures value variable 
whenever we want to access structures data members using structures value variable use which operator dot operator is used okay then pass the entire array okay that means d for three different department structure array of structure variable to a function display and catch it into array here only d gives you base address of that array of structure variable next that d is copied here then whole data members are copied value by value okay next then we have to display all the three departments information in display function as well as calculate total number of students in all department and display using printf function okay so student today we will stop here so what is today's agenda of the lecture passing entire structure variable to a function either you can pass single structure variable or array of structure variable so today we will stop